I'm at your door, your eyes are like, why are you here? Judging by my steel, I got something to do here. Give up the money or the angel cries two tears from the your crib. Hey everybody, this is Tunde and I'm back with uh, my updates for week seven uh, for my training for uh, my half marathon. So this is going to be a short vlog. Uh, I only ran two weeks, uh, two times this week. Uh, Friday, I ran five miles and... Uh, yesterday I ran 8 of the 12 miles scheduled, so I only ended up running 13 of the 35 uh, total miles. So, uh, I didn't run because uh, at the beginning of the week I had like a really bad head cold and I was uh, pretty much sick for like 2-3 days. And I was just lazy the rest of the time, which I knew was going to end up happening. Uh, this week coming up, I have uh, 39 miles scheduled. I have to run five miles tomorrow or today, depending on when you watch this. Um, nine miles on Tuesday, six on Wednesday, uh, cross train on Thursday, five miles on Friday, and 14 miles on Saturday. So uh, hopefully I can get done as uh, much as I can done get done next week, uh, eight of the 11, I mean week eight. Of 11. Uh, it's entitled Peak Week, so. Uh, what else has been going on? Okay. Um, if you're looking for a challenge, um, I'm going to be starting two of them on January 1st. Uh, one is a month long challenge, which is 50 miles, and it's entitled uh, Winter Challenge 2. And uh, the first Winter Challenge was uh, a really good group of people, and we got together. Our, on Nike Plus, and we ran 50 miles. I think it was uh, November 15th to December 15th, and so people were asking, "Am I going to do a winter challenge uh, part two? So January January 1st to the 31st is going to be 50 miles, and then the second challenge is going to be a year long challenge, January 1st, 2014 to January 1st. I mean January 1st, 2015. To January 1st 2016 and um, it's going to be 750 miles so if you're interested in joining the challenge just add me on Nike plus and or Nike running uh, same thing and my username on there is taut underscore seven or taut underscore seven so I'm going to be sending it out invites probably uh, sometime Monday night um, the thing is once I send out the initial invites it won't let me add anyone else to the challenge so if you're interested um, between uh, when I post this video and Monday night, just uh, add me on there and I'll make sure to um, add you to the challenge. Also, uh, my friend Charisse is going to be giving you a, um, I guess, a review on two of her favorite running shoes. So if you're interested in doing a review for I'm Healthy Fit, uh, a video review on like uh, basketball or running shoes performance wise, just uh, email us at uh, I am healthy fit 2013 at gmail.com and uh, I guess I will see you guys next week for um, updates on week eight. Bye. Hey guys, it's Sharice here. I'm going to do a comparison review on the Nike Lunar Glide 2 and the Nike Air Max 2014. I'm going to start off with my favorite uh, just because I use this shoe just about every day and then move on to my least favorite. So my favorite. Nike Lunar Glide 2. This is a pretty old shoe and I've put a lot of miles into it. I would probably say over 300 plus miles. If you're a runner, I know people say they change their shoes every 90 days and you should probably only put a, about 100 miles or so on a tennis shoe, but honestly, this shoe is so comfortable that I use it for everything. I use it for the track, long runs, short runs, sprints, neighborhood runs, street runs, just about everything. Um, it's a really good training shoe, and here's a close-up of it. I'm kind of embarrassed to show this because this shoe, I'm, like I said, I've used this a lot. Um, and this is an older version, and I actually asked for the Lunar Glide 6 for Christmas because it's just about that time. I gotta retire this shoe. Um, so let's go on. It's really lightweight, which is good if you're a runner. Um, has a cushion ride to it. The toe box is kind of narrow and for me I really appreciate that because I have a really skinny foot so a lot of Nike shoes they have a wider toe box and 
my foot tends to slip in the top part of it so I really like that about this shoe it's very plush it flexes well as, as you can see which I like because when you're running and you're not on a track you need something that's going to give you like some buoyancy um it has a support in the heel right here so this is a little bit more sturdier especially if you have a skinnier foot you want something that kind of grasps the back of your uh heel um and it just also provides a really snug fit which i like um super comfortable super plush um Stick with uh, the size that you normally wear. Don't go up a size, true to size. Um, this is actually a nine and um, like I said, really comfortable. So Lunar Glide 2, and that's what it looks like. This is a really old shoe, so you probably won't even find it, but like I said, I ordered the six for Christmas and I'll probably do a review on that too. So we're gonna move on to Nike Air Max 2014. This is a really cool shoe. I was so excited about this when I found them um, because everybody loves the Air Max. Um, there's like sneaker heads that collect these. I know I do, but I got these and I was expecting them to be a really good running shoe and they're not. This honestly is just a conversation starter for me. Um, I rock these and it just grabs attentions of all sneaker heads, women, especially um, breast cancer survivors because they're all pink. And as you can see, like I have a thing for pink, so just don't mind me. I'm just, I love that color. But anyway, so um, yeah, I was just so excited about these shoes, but in reality, they're not good for running. No. Like... These are just strictly when you have a hot outfit, throw them on, look cute. Like I said, conversation starter for me. Um, I love the colorway. Nike gets bonus points for that. But besides that, the shoe is kind of heavy. It feels light, but when you put it on your shoe and you start to run, you notice that it's really, really heavy and clunky. Um, this rubber sole does nothing for me when I run in it absolutely nothing like it just honestly it, like I said I don't even think this should be named the running shoe but anyways um thick rubber sole as you can see has a rubber tongue as well um it has this monochrome laces that match the color of the shoe which I think is kind of cool a lot of people like to do like different color laces whatever I'm just like stick to one color and commit to it but anyways, um, the logo is hidden in the back, and I'll try to get a close-up. You probably can see it a little bit. Um, and if you are a sneakerhead and you collect the Nike Air Max, you would notice that like on the 2011, the 2012, 2013, you could just see the logo. But this is kind of hidden behind the mesh, which is all cool. Um, one other thing that you'll notice with this shoe is that they got rid of the Nike Plus. It was like a little thing that you can put into your shoe. It calculates the miles, tell you how fast you're going. Honestly, I never use that. I When I run, I, it's just strictly with my iPhone, and I use the Nike Plus running app. So they did do away with that feature in this shoe. Um, in the front, it has this double mesh, which is kind of cool because it's really breathable. But, I mean, like I said, does it really matter? For this shoe, I'm not using it to run so I guess it's just there to look good but um yeah I I love the shoe just not for running um so if you're a sneakerhead I say go out and get it the color is hot I've seen it in like gray orange blue I mean really really crazy colors but if you are a runner Nike Lunar Glide all the way um, so that's pretty much it for this review. Um, I probably went over my time, but that's okay. If you guys like me, make sure you drop a comment. Maybe I'll come back to another review. I have plenty of shoes that I can uh, do reviews on. Um, but just big shout out to Toon Day and I Am Healthy Fit. And um, happy running.